Greetings once again all, and welcome to my alternate series of Hidetaka Miyazaki's Elden Ring. In contrast to my other playthrough, which I built as a jack-of-all-trades kind of class, which didn't really turn out to be any sort of build on account of all the grinding that I had to do to make that possible, rounding out the game ridiculously at around level 220 or so, this character is going to be a straight shot blood boiled down build, but we're not going to tackle all of the optional catacombs or dungeons this time around. Because I'm going to be totally honest with you, that shit took like three years off my life, at least. That being said, we will be doing all the remembrance bosses, however, and we're going to round out the main narrative around level 150 to maybe 170 if everything goes right. And it'll boil down to what you guys want to see from my blind playthrough of Shadow of the Erd Tree, and whether or not you'd like me to play it with my original character, with no precise class that can use every weapon, incantation, or sorcery that I may happen across, or this character, who will be more limited in terms of accessibility to Arsenal. Without further ado, welcome to Run 2 of Elden Ringu. And we're blessed with vodka and fucking metal this time, so welcome to Vodkin Ring. So basically, I came up with this idea, like literally, I'm not even shitting you, as you can probably tell by the name, about five minutes before stream. So, the rules for Vodkin Ring. Every time we die, it's going to be a drink of the good stuff. Every time we beat a boss, it's going to be a drink of what we need to actually live. So welcome to Vodkin Ring. So, rules for this playthrough. Every time we die, it's a sip of the good stuff. Every time we kill a boss, it's a sip of water. A little bit of a respite for me, because I'm going to die a lot. So welcome to Vogkin Ring. This was an idea that literally just occurred to me about five minutes before starting this stream, and I think it's going to be a good time, but we'll see how it goes. It depends on how nice the lands between decide to be to me. They're gonna be like, oh, do you think you're gonna remember Margit the Fell Omen's fucking combo? And I'm like, pfft, no. They're gonna be like, oh, you wanna wander into a catacomb at level 5? Be a fucking shame if we stuck six imps on you at a time, hmm. I'm gonna be blitzing this bottle in no time. This thing is gonna go to nearly full to about there by the end of stream, I assure you. It's gonna be fucking brutal. That's my wife you're talking about. Cryptic interpreter. Oh, and that's fucking Moog with Mikola. Right. Right, okay. Got you. Praetor Rykard. Melania and Radon fighting before. Yeah, and that's the wastelands of Kaelid I had to have to guess. Look how fucking big Radon is! Jesus goddamn Christ! I fought Melania! She was like 8 foot, 9 foot tall in person! That dude is like fucking 10 skyscrapers! He is like the twin towers combined into one tower tall! Holy fuck. Radon is the fucking Yorm the Giant from Dark Souls 3 of Elden Ring. He's the one where, like, he sits up and you just shit your pants on principle. Yeah, he kicks a lot of ass for somebody who's impaled by spears. Fucking bullshit. Poor Lou got stabbed in the abdomen like ten times by fucking wood spears and fucking battle armaments, and he's fucking sitting there, Hulk Hogan fucking, LET ME TELL YOU SOMETHING, BROTHER! And he just fucking Hulkamanias my ass, fucking flies 80 feet in the air and fucking craters me into the planet. Fucking brutal. Yeah, this is fucking warrior battle music. We're gonna beat the shit out of the tutorial boss to some Amina Marth. We don't fuck around in this bitch. 
More like we're gonna die to the tutorial boss in the lower cavern, not the fucking stupid grafted spider. I mean the fucking dinky asshole with the greatsword. You couldn't have hooked me up with some Forever 21, right? No, you just had to bury me in cloth and rope. Thanks, dude. Appreciate that. Climbing out of the grave with absolutely no assets to my name. I don't even have a fucking washing machine and a dryer. And they're like, oh, go out and just... Fell a few gods, you know? Tackle a few fucking... Empyrean warriors and fucking dickheads with fucking gravity-defying fucking aerial mechanics and shit. All right, fucking knights that do Pilates. Look at this, I'm acting like I'm speed running. Oh, pick up this item I don't need, run over to the door, fucking push it open, hell yeah. Let's go. Let's do this shit. Look at that, parkour. We're going hard fucking core this time, I ain't fucking around. We're gonna double hand this bitch, we're gonna beat this motherfucker into oblivion. This dude's getting fucked up. Oh damn, he killed me in one hit, holy shit. He killed me in one hit with a shield bash. What a G. Technically that counts as a boss death. It's a boss that you're not intended to beat, but still, rules are rules. Oh damn, he didn't just beat our ass, he stole our fit, too. Holy shit. Bro, my character's looking like I'm already at that point through this bottle and I haven't even started yet. Let me pass out in the gutter later. Not right now, spirit, I'm too tired. I'm too wiped out after that. I already had one fuck session this morning. I mean, what? Thank you for gendering me correctly. It's so nice when NPCs do that. I probably look more like a troll doll. Yeah, I'm sure to seek the Elden Ring because I paid $59.99 for the game, asshole. I'm not gonna pay $59.99 and not go on a fucking desperate search for the Elden Ring, are you fucking stupid? My Drane waifu has a fucking destiny to claim. Except I can't hold my liquor very well. Also, hope you guys are a fan of Opeth, on another note. And if you don't know who Opeth is, you really fucking should. <laughs> Whoa, holy shit, dude! It literally channeled- I'm not even kidding, it channeled a roll that I did from the boss fight into now. Holy fuck, dude. Through a cutscene. Miyazaki, holy shit, and his fucking ghostly powers, his apparitional influence. The Cave of Knowledge. Jump down the hole ahead and you will find the Cave of Knowledge. There you can learn more about the game controls and basic actions that don't fucking work for shit, as well as other tips that may be helpful during your adventures in the lands between. You want a tip? Don't go out and fight the giant gilded gold asshole on the fucking horse straight away. Fight him when you're like level 25. If you go after that asshole first thing, you're gonna get fucking wrecked. Shrekt, actually. 
Actually, honestly, I think Torrent would be a hell of a lot more tolerable if he was a talking donkey. If he was voiced by Eddie Murphy, this game would go from like a 4 to like a 9. Sites of Grace. Resting at a site of Grace will restore your HP, FP, and cleanse any status ailments. It will also refill your sacred flasks. However, most of the enemies you've defeated will be revived. You can find Sites of Grace by going where light converges. Or looking at a fucking map. Unga bunga time. Come on, boys! I'm fresh out of the gutters of poverty, and I'm ready to kick some ass and take some names. Fucking bastard. There ain't nothing like beating some motherfuckers' heads in, just fucking denting the shit out of people to some opeth. It's like the most metal shit ever. I'm not even wearing fucking pants. Where are the boys at? Dude, bro, I do not care if you have a shield. Your shield means nothing to me. Nothing. Nothing. Nothing! Your shield is worthless here! Bastard. Can't even hold the damn thing. Looking malnourished like you haven't had like 10 glasses of milk in a week. Don't even think about it, pansy. I don't think so, popper pants. Oh, look at that! Them's the strats. Get ready, bitch. You're going off that cliff, motherfucker. Aw, oh, you luck. You lucky son of a bitch. I like how it tells you about weapon skills after you've killed, like, the ninth guy. That's fucking awesome. Mmm. <clears throat> right in the back of the knee. That's where everybody's weak. Especially girls. Oh, I should probably read that, honestly. It told me about stance breaking. That's the one mechanical component of the game that I actually want to know about. How do I get to that? Stance breaking. Some attacks may break an enemy's stance, giving you a chance to perform a critical hit. Charge attacks and jump attacks make it particularly easy to break an enemy's stance. I call bullshit. When I'm wielding double greatswords on Radigan and I'm sitting there literally leaping like a maniac and just fucking doing R2s into his fucking dome and he doesn't care. Come on, bruh. Come on, pansy. I don't need no shield, bitch. Maybe I need a shield. Oh, fuck. Okay, maybe I need a shield. Shit. Come on, pussy. <laughs> yeah, fuck you, dude. I can't believe I almost died to the tutorial boss. He just spanked me, like, once, too. Holy shit. Nearly did, like, my whole health bar. That dude don't fuck around. Strength. Guess see what DSP missed in his first run because he didn't do the Cave of Knowledge like a fucking idiot? Just thinks he knows everything. He missed out on the most barbaric roar scream that a fucking Drane can fucking utter. What a dumbass. Right then. We have our first side of grace now. Cooperative multiplayer, which we're not going to be worrying about because once again we're playing offline because I'm not getting griefed by assholes. Because nobody knows how to be fucking considerate in these games. Honor is out the window. Okay, we already have everything. Alright. Off we go, then. So we gotta get our bitch some fucking drip. We gotta get our bitch some clothes. Goddamn, we gotta hit up a Goodwill or a fucking Value Village. Or a fucking St. John's. Did we actually get... Yeah, I was gonna say... I was gonna say, were we actually fortunate enough to get back-to-back -back Opeth? I was gonna say, that's like God's divine hand intervening. He's like, oh, you like Opeth, do you?